Hello and welcome to the tutorial on robotic process automation using UiPath. So in this session we are going to consider an example to build a workflow that uses different input methods to input data in a notepad application. Basically there are three ways of inputting the data into various kinds of applications. The first one is the default method. And the second one is the send window messages method. So send window messages works by sending a specific message directly to the target applications. And the third one is the simulate click method, which provides a faster way of performing click actions. It basically doesn't rely on mouse driver, but it will automatically perform the click actions on its own in a much faster and better way. Now let us understand what are the different tasks involved in this workflow building. So the first task is to open a notepad file and then type automation makes life easier as the message. And then the second task is to minimize the notepad file using the simulate click method and the third step or third task is to type welcome to the new world of automation using the send window messages method and the fourth task is to change the font type to times new roman and then change the font style to italic and increase the font size by five then ultimately we are going to close the font window by clicking the enter button well, let us jump to the UiPath Studio software. Now I have already opened the existing project. In this existing project, let me create a new sequence and I'll name it as Notepad Automation and I'll say create. So it will create a sequence for us. Now the first task is to open the notepad application. So I'll make use of this open application activity. So before indicating the window or screen to open, let me have the notepad for choosing. So here it is. So I'll indicate this particular screen. So with this, I can open the Notepad application. So once I open the Notepad application, I'll make use of type into activity and I'll indicate where to type in the Notepad and the message to be typed is automation makes life easier okay. now after this we shall move to the second task that is minimize the notepad application using the simulate click method so for that we shall make use of the click activity and let me indicate the minimize button using the click method so I indicate it here so for this I shall be checking on this particular checkbox that is simulate click so that it will make use of the simulate click method and then after this we shall move ahead to the next task that is to make use of send window messages method to type something into the notepad application so for that i'll make use of type into activity once again and i'll be indicating the window where to type again it's going to be the same thing and here i'll type the message as welcome to the world of automation 
then I shall be indicating this particular checkbox that is send window messages method in the properties panel. So it becomes true here. Now after this we shall move ahead to the next task that is fourth task where we change the font and font style and then font size. So before going to the next task we shall maximize the window of the notepad application. So for that I'll make use of this maximize window activity so that it will maximize the application window for us. And then after this I'll be making use of click activities to go to the font window. So I'll indicate it here so first of all i should be clicking on the format and then i shall be clicking on the font sorry make use of one more click here and here i'll indicate it for font so this is our font window so by default the times new roman font is selected now i should be changing the font style to be equal to italic and then size to be equal to the value plus 5 so this we will do it using the ui pad studio so the next activity that i'll be using is type into activity to change the font style so here I'll type it to be italic okay. and then once we type the italic now we shall move ahead and change the font size so we should be changing the font size to be equal to the value plus the 5 so for that initially we should get the value that is already there in the size so for that i'll make use of this get text method so that i can get the value that is already present so i shall indicate that size so this is 23 so once we get the value of the size we should be storing it somewhere in a variable so for that i'll store it in a variable called as val so now we should be adding 5 to this particular val variable so for that i'll make use of one more activity that is assign activity so to assign it to some variable we should be creating one so i'll go to this variables tab and i'll create one variable called as num and i'll change the variable type to be equal to int 32 so i'll close this variables tab and here i'll make use of num and here I'll make use of that val from where we got the value of the size and I'll convert it into integer using the to int method and then to this we shall be adding 5 so now in the num we have the value plus the 5 being added so this we have to type it in the size block so for that i'll make use of type into activity once again and i'll be indicating where to type so this is where it should type so it is num here so not just num we should be converting back to string so for that i'll make use of two string method 
So now after this, once we enter the size, we shall move ahead to the fifth task that is to click on the enter button. So I can do it using this plus symbol. So I indicate the enter here. Yeah, so these are the five tasks that we should be performing with respect to this workflow. So after this, let us have one more activity that is message box activity just to get a confirmation. So here I'll type it as success. So this is our workflow. So I have saved it. Now, before running this particular workflow, let me close all the windows that I've opened with respect to the Notepad application. Okay. Now, let us run this workflow. So, it has started debugging. Now, it has started the execution. It will do it very quickly. Yes, the notepad is open, it is typing, now it has minimized, now it has again maximized, open the font, in between it has typed the one more message, using the send window messages method, and change the font style and font size, and ultimately it has given us the success message at the end. So this is how we make use of different types of activities available in the UiPath Studio and then automate the notepad application. Thank you. Thank you for watching.